guys, uh, this is Jonathan Lambert with the Mathematics Development and Support Service at the National College of Ireland. Uh, and this short video is going to detail how to generate a list of random numbers uh, using the data analysis tool pack uh, that comes uh, packaged with Excel. Okay, but more importantly, we're going to concentrate in this video on how to how to generate a list of random numbers that follow a discrete distribution. Okay, now before we generate these numbers, we actually need to define the discrete values that we want to generate, and we also need to define the probabilities associated with the, these discrete values. In other words, we need to define the probability distribution associated with the discrete values. So let's say for argument's sake that I want to generate numbers, and the numbers I'd like to generate are the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and let's say 6 for argument's sake. Uh, but what I'd like to do is I'd like to make sure, or I'd like to make sure that approximately, let's say, 0 0.20, okay, or approximately 20% of the number 1 occurs in a list of random numbers, okay? And let's say that I want to try to ensure that approximately 30% of 2s occur, and let's say approximately 20% of 3s, and approximately 15% of 4s, and approximately, let's say for argument, say 10% of 5s, and approximately, let's say 5% of 6s occur, which gives us a total summation, okay, if I just sum up this column here, okay, gives us a total summation of 1. Okay? Now, I talked about percentages there. From a probability perspective, what we're really saying is that we would like, we would like there to be a approximately, let's say, as a probability or a likelihood of 0.20 that a 1 will be generated, a probability of 0.3 that a 2 will be generated, a probability of 0.2 that a 3 will be generated, and a probability of 0.15 that a 4 will be generated. So probabilities range between 0 and 1, but we can also convert them to percentages by multiplying by 100. So this, this means that 30% of the numbers should be 2, or approximately 30% of the numbers should be 2. Don't forget, this is going to be random number generation. Okay, so now that we've defined our probability distribution associated with our discrete values, we can now uh, move ahead and we can actually generate the list of random numbers using the data analysis tool pack. Now, the data analysis tool pack can be found in the data ribbon. Okay, now you have to turn on the data analysis tool pack in Excel. Uh, I've already turned it on, so I have the data analysis tool pack here. So I'm going to hit data analysis tool pack. I've already selected random number generation, so I'm just going to click on that again, and I'm going to hit OK. Let me just get rid of these particular values here, so that we're not, so that we're not, uh, so I'll actually walk through and actually put the values in again and talk about what the values are. Okay. So just the first thing, there's a number of distributions that we could generate, or there's a number of, I suppose, distributions that we could that we could ask the number generator to generate numbers from. Now, there's many different options here. A previous video I've gone through how to generate uniformly distributed random numbers and normally distributed random numbers and so on. In this case, in this particular example, we're looking at discrete random numbers that follow a particular probability distribution. So the first field is asking us how many variables would we like to generate? Actually, really what it's saying is how many lists of numbers do we want to generate? And in this case, I just want to generate a single list of random numbers. Uh, the next field asks us, well, how many random numbers would we like in the list? Now, in this case, let me just say that we'd like 18 random numbers. They're going to follow a discrete distribution. But more importantly, we have to tell the data analysis tool pack uh, what discrete distribution, along with what discrete distribution these numbers should be generated from. Now, we've already defined a discrete distribution over here. So let me specify that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight the first value uh, and also its probability down to 0 0.5. So from 1.0, uh, from 1 down to 0 0.5 is the probability distribution associated with this particular, that I want to associate with this random number generator. Okay. And now the next thing is just actually to, to define an output range. Where do we want these numbers to be output to? Now in this particular case here, I'm just going to output them to this particular, to this particular, uh, uh, to this particular sheet. So I'm just going to choose here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit OK. And what we end up with is we end up with a set of discrete random numbers, but that the the I suppose the frequencies okay, of occurrence of the random numbers, yeah, the likelihood of them occurring are based off these particular probabilities over here. 
So if we were to build a frequency distribution for this particular set of discrete random numbers, what we should expect hmm, approximately, yeah, okay, is that twenty percent of the numbers in this list are one, thirty percent are two, twenty percent are three, fifteen percent are four, ten percent are five, and approximately five percent being six. Now, because this is random number generation, we might not get a uh, percentages that are bang on these particular values here but they will be close enough okay because we've defined that particular distribution okay so guys uh, once again this was Jonathan Lambert with the mathematics development and support service at the National College of Ireland and I hope this video was somewhat helpful uh, and in some way intuitive so once again thanks for your time okay bye bye